Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today what I'm going to be bringing you is something a little bit different today what I'm going to be bringing you is the current bookies favourites to win league 2 it's pretty much like the bookies table prediction I've gone from the least likely to win the league all the way through to the top now this doesn't necessarily mean that this is their actual prediction because the odds for winning the title and avoiding relegation are all very different but I've just gone this off simply who will win the league right out what is the probability and the chance of that happening well, there's some definite some very interesting ones in there but if you do go on to enjoy today's video make sure you drop a like on it if you could turn it 60 likes on today's video that'd be absolutely class subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers so make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already with that post notification bell on get your thoughts in down in the comment section down below let me know which ones you agree with and let me know your personal current league two table predictions obviously the season didn't start for another six seven weeks something like that but i thought it would be something a little bit interesting to do for today's video i must come clean i have absolutely nabbed this idea off ben hd he did a very similar video for the championship but today i'm gonna be doing it for league two so make sure you drop a like on today's video subscribe if you are new as well and let's get into it so the team in 24th place who are the least most likely to win the league at this moment in time a barrow kind of understandable to be honest with you obviously they have had another managerial change pink wilders come in going into next season they finished 22nd and the season just gone by they just avoided relegation in the season just before that this could maybe the season that does see barrow back down international league but i can't say i disagree with that all too much in 23rd place though that is something i definitely do disagree with they've gone with stevenage they obviously finished 21st last season but i think under steve evans i think they could do really well next season i think they can definitely finish around mid table maybe a team even pushing towards the playoffs i do really rate steve evans as a manager they've already started well with their recruitment I think they've got four or five signings in through the door Cal Gianni, Aaron Chapman Danny Rose Michael Bostock I think there's some decent signings at this level but according to the bookies Barrow and Stevenage will be the two teams relegated back down into the National League in 22nd place they have Hartlepool a bit of a drop off from the previous season where they did finish 17th in 21st place they've gone with Crawley I think this is definitely understandable obviously a massive drop off from last season where they did finish 12th but their owners and off the pitch behavior I think is very interesting obviously their new owners Wagby United were very heavily linked with my team Bradford City in the winter month just gone by that didn't end up obviously coming through Stefan Rupp rejected the bid they have taken over Crawley I'm not a fan of their managerial appointment I just don't think it's going to be a successful season next season for Crawley I think they either could finish in the playoffs or I think they could go down they're definitely one of my two teams at this moment in time who I do think will be going down in 20th place they've gone with Harrogate now this is a bit of a surprising one for me they ended up finishing 19th in the previous season I'd actually back Harrogate to be one of the teams to go down this season I think they really have struggled when they're losing players like Jack Diamond he's obviously gone back to Sunderland I expect him to go out on loan to somewhere either high up in League 2 or he will go into League 1 he's far too good to be playing for a team like Harrogate with all due respect they've obviously lost some of their other players as well but their injury problems they've not got the biggest squad in the world I think for me Harrogate and Crawley are my two favourites to go down at the moment but according to the bookies Harrogate will be finishing in 20th in 19th place and a little bit of a drop off for Colchester they finished in 15th in the previous season I'm not too sure why they're so far down there I think Colchester will be probably looking on to push up into the higher parts of the table in 18th place the bookies have gone with Carlisle they ended up finishing in 20th place last season I can maybe see them finishing a little bit higher than that that does come as a little bit of a surprise to me I think they can maybe finish around mid table potentially pushing into the playoffs I do think Paul Simpson is a decent manager he seems to have got a feel good factor back at Carlisle but an interesting start there nonetheless in 17th place they've gone with Rochdale one place better off than last season where they did end up finishing in 18th I'm not the biggest fan as Robbie Stock Dale as a manager don't think he's the greatest option I think they definitely could get something better in there I think they've got some good players in their squad they just lack a goal scorer I know they brought in Luke Charman in the January transfer window it's not really worked out for him I think if Rochdale do get a goal scorer next season they could maybe again be pushing into that mid-table top half sort of places but 17th place I don't think is too unrealistic at this moment in time in 16th place they've gone with Sutton United obviously a massive drop off from last season where they did end up finishing in eighth just outside of a playoff place maybe they could be hit with a little bit of second season syndrome which definitely wouldn't surprise me to say the least I don't think they've got the biggest squad with the most quality in the world you know I, I, like I've said previously I'm not the biggest fan of Matt Gray 
in terms of his actual personality in his interviews and that sort of stuff. I think every time Sutton lose, he can be very salty. But in terms of actually on the pitch, you know, he's delivering very well for Sutton. So you've got to give him all the credit in that. Interesting to see how they do next season. In 15th place, the first of the new six teams entering the league. They've gone with Grimsby Town. Obviously, they were promoted through the playoffs last season where they ended up finishing in sixth in the National League. They ended up beating Notts County, I think it was, in the quarterfinal. Then they beat Wrexham in the semi-final. Obviously, beating Sullihill Moors in the final as well to get promoted back into the Football League at the first time of asking. I think a 15th place finish would be very good for Grimsby. They obviously have got now some good players who are probably in the market with how well that they have done in the season just gone by. John McAtee is definitely one of them that a couple of clubs maybe in League One might be sniffing around. In 14th place, the first relegated team to come down from League One is Crew Alexandra. They had an absolutely horrendous time last season, didn't they? Ended up finishing 24th in the league. Didn't really like competing throughout the whole season. I don't think it would be the end of the world if they were to finish there, you know, because you don't want to see a club do a back-to-back -back relegation like what we saw with South End, and you know we've seen teams like Scunthorpe absolutely fall off a cliff, Oldham as well. So you don't want to see that happen to Crew. I think if they finish mid-table, then they can go again and rebuild. But it all just does depend on their recruitment. But as of right now, don't think that'd be the end of the world for Crew. In 13th place, they've gone with at Newport County. They ended up finishing in 11th last season. I think they will definitely be looking to push on and finish inside them playoff places next season. I think it is something that can happen as long as they keep a hold of Dom Tell for that does look very unlikely but I think he scored 26 goals in the end for them last season he was crucial for their wouldn't even say success because he only ended up finishing in 11th so they need to improve the plays around him get him scoring goals once again if he does stay but if he doesn't I think that might be a pretty realistic finish for them in 12th place and smack bang in the middle of the table they've gone with AFC Wimbledon again another team who were relegated last season they ended up finishing in 23rd Warwick, it was not a great season whatsoever for Wimbledon I think they went like 20 odd games without winning it was absolutely a horrendous run of form in that second half of the season. They have since appointed Johnny Jackson as the club's new manager. I think that's actually a decent appointment to be honest with you. I know he's not had all too much experience, but you know, a young, upcoming, exciting manager. I think a 12th place finish again, similar to Crew, wouldn't be the end of the world, just need a season of stabilisation. In 11th place, they've gone with Walsall, much better than the season which has just gone by. They ended up finishing in 16th. Wasn't a great start to the season under Ash Taylor. He eventually got the sack. Michael Flynn came in and he did all right with them. I could maybe see Walsall slightly pushing a little bit further onto that. I don't think at this moment in time they'll get into the playoffs. I just don't think that their squad is strong enough to push up into the playoffs. But that's the fun thing about this video. You know, there's still plenty of time left of the transfer window. In fact, I'm pretty sure the transfer window is not actually officially opened yet. So you can't actually sign players that aren't free agents as of right now. But I don't think an 11th place finish would be the end of the world for Walsall. I'm sure their fans, obviously, with their recent takeover as well, I think their owner's worth like 12 billion. They'll definitely be looking to push up into that top seven this season. In 10th place, another team which was relegated from League One. They've gone with Doncaster. They obviously finished in 22nd last season. I think they've got some good quality in their team to Doncaster. I think they definitely, in my opinion, as of right now, will be in the top seven. I think the bookies are a little bit out with that one. And in 9th place, they've gone with Gillingham. Again, another team who got relegated last season. They ended up finishing in 21st. Don't think it was a great season whatsoever for Gillingham, wasn't it? Losing Vidane and Oliver as well, I do think, is a massive loss. Aaron Chapman's obviously gone to Stevenage as well, where he linked up with former Gillingham manager. Steve Evans. Gillingham for me I, I can't say I know all too much about them I know they've obviously got some decent players there but their manager wants to sign like I don't know 20 players going into this season. He was not happy with their squad whatsoever in the season just gone by. Obviously the former Millwall manager I think Neil Harris was. In 8th place they've gone with Tramia Rovers. Again something I'm sure the fans probably won't be too happy with. It is actually a slight improvement on the season just gone by where they finished in ninth. but I think if it's another season where they don't finish inside the playoffs I can't see Mickey Mellon remaining as the Tramia Rovers manager Moving on then into the playoffs in 7th place, they've gone with Northampton. Now, Northampton are never the prettiest team to watch, but they're successful in the way they play. I'm not a great, the massive fan, to be honest with you, of John Brady, their manager. I think a massive part of their success in the season just gone by was their defence and their clean sheet record. Liam Roberts, Fraser Horsfall and John Guffrey were absolutely incredible in the season just gone by. I think they kept well over 20 clean sheets. I think they kept the clean sheets in nearly half of the league games last season, which is absolutely incredible. Do I think they'll finish inside the top six? Seven. As of right now, no, I think they definitely need to get a goal score in and make sure some of them out of contract players do re-sign going into next season. Obviously, they finished fourth 
in the season just gone by, missing out on automatic promotion on the final day and then losing in the playoff semi-final to Mansfield. In sixth place, they've gone with Leighton Orient. I obviously backed them to do fairly decent it last season. It didn't end up coming true. Obviously, they started out the season with Kenny Jackett as their manager. He eventually faded away, got a sack. Richie Wellens came in, which I do think is a decent appointment for Leighton Orient. And a sixth place finish would be a massive improvement on 13th place. So I think they'll get inside the top seven. As of right now, no, I don't. I think they'll just miss out. So I do definitely think they need to improve their squad slightly. But again, like what I've touched on, you know, this is the 8th of June at the time of recording. I've obviously said I'm pretty sure this is going out on the 8th of June as well. So there's still plenty of time left in the window, plenty of time left for teams to improve. Something that is interesting, though, is fifth place at the time of recording. Swindon Town are the fifth most likely team to finish first and win the title. They ended up finishing sixth in the season just gone by. Harry McCurdy having the season of his life. Their manager today has officially joined Charlton Athletic. Ben Garner has gone there on a three-year deal. I think that's a massive appointment for Charlton, but I don't think Ben Garner deserves a three-year deal. You know, maybe a two-year deal, and then if he gets them promoted, you know, you get another year. I think a three-year deal for a manager who's not had a, an absolutely world-class season with Swindon. You know, he had a good season with them, but I don't think he was absolutely world-class. He's definitely a unique appointment for Charlton. I know they're off the field issues. I know, I know some of their fans definitely have mixed opinions on their owner, it would be fair to say. But I think a fifth-place finish for Swindon would be another decent one. In fourth place, they have gone with Mansfield, finishing in seventh last season, losing out in the playoff final to Port Vale 3-0 on that day. And again, that just simply was not Mansfield's day. For me personally, I would back Mansfield to win the title at the time of recording. Obviously, the bookies like to have the usual top two, top three sort of teams. Mansfield are always a team who are always up there. In third place, they've gone with the National League winners Stockport. It's definitely something that I could see happening. They've got a lot of quality in that team with the lack of financial fair play in the non-league. You know, it's understandable why they've got so many good players because they're able to offer decent and ludicrous amount of money to other teams. I don't think they'll absolutely set the league on fire. I don't think they'll do back-to-back. -back. I think they definitely will be challenging for a playoff spot for me personally, but I don't think that they'll win the title. I don't think they'll finish in the top three. That's just my early prediction. Obviously, as always, it does depend on their recruitment, but I think obviously if the words finish third, that'd be another incredible season for Stockport. In second place, they have my team at Bradford City. Hopefully, this is finally our season that we get out of this absolutely horrendous league. We obviously finished in 14th in the season, just gone by. I'm positive going into it under Mark Hughes, I still do think we need another five, six, maybe even seven new players, to be honest with you. I definitely do think there is some more players to come in, but I definitely do think we need to get four or five players out the door as well. You know, a couple of them being loan deals because we've got some youngsters who aren't really getting game time at the moment. And I feel like you can't really be giving... 18, 19 year olds game time just for the sake of their development when, you know, we've got a promotion to win, we need to get out of this league, but second place finish, I would absolutely bite your hand off for that right now, and obviously winning the title, they have Salford City finished in 10th last season, sat their manager, they've brought in some Man United's under 23, or Man United's academy manager, as their new first team manager, I personally don't rate that appointment, I think as of right now, a bold prediction, but I think Salford will finish mid-table again, I can't see them winning the title whatsoever, but according to the bookies that is their list of who they think is most likely to win the League 2 title in the upcoming season. But that is where I'm going to leave it for today's video. If you have enjoyed, a like as always would be massively appreciated. If you could try and hit 60 likes, as I said at the start of today's video, that would be absolutely class. Subscribe if you are new as well. We are now on the road to 6,000 subscribers, so make sure you are subscribed if you haven't already. With that post notification bell on, let me know your early League 2 table predictions down in the comment section down below. Who do you think is going up? Who do you think is going down? Obviously, this is just a little bit of fun and as I said I have completely nabbed this video idea off of Ben HD so make sure you go check out his video if you haven't already thank you for watching though have a great rest of your day and I shall see you all very soon for another video peace